Are you hungry? Because if so, you're in the right place. Today, we're making an amazing panna cotta with something special on top, but I'll get into that later. Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Gurket. Like I just mentioned, there's something special on top, and that is a white balsamic vinegar honey mix that we're gonna put on top. It's like a liquid, yeah, kind of a sauce. It's very nice. And we're also putting some olive oil on there, a little bit of fleur de sel. It's gonna taste great. But before we have a look at the ingredients here, do me the favor, if you're not subscribing to this channel yet, please do so by hitting that subscribe button and checking the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when an episode goes live. But now let's have a look at the ingredients. That's not that much on the board. Now we have our uh, honey vinegar glaze, sauce, dressing, whatever you want to call it. And it's honey and vinegar, balsamic vinegar, white. For the panna cotta, we have some gelatin leaves. Now it depends on the gelatin you have. There's like professional kitchen gelatin. There's uh, gelatin for home cooks like myself. In my case, I need 12 of these leaves per liter of liquid. So I have half a liter or 500 grams actually, it's a bit more than half a liter of cream. And I use six of these leaves. We're gonna need half a vanilla pod. We're gonna need 30 grams of sugar. Like I said, 500 grams of cream. We have a bit of olive oil and some fleur de sel to go on top. The first thing we should do is to soak the gelatin leaves. Bowl of cold water and we just put our six gelatin leaves in there. And you can put it to the side for a bit. Um, and in the meantime, we'll make the panna cotta mix. We can put all our cream in the pan. Our 30 grams of sugar. We'll make some space here. And like I said, we need half, half a vanilla pod. It's a quite big, I think it actually a quarter will be enough. So you just get a quarter off. And we can scrape this. Put it into our cream. And we can put the whole pot in as well. Now the next step, we're gonna heat this up, bring it to a quick boil, then take it off. And then we're gonna whisk in, well not whisk, stir in the gelatin. So highest heat, bring it to a boil, and then we'll come back here. So it's boiled. Get our gelatin. I just try to squeeze off the excess water. Put it in. And then we're just going to stir it in gently. You don't want to whisk it in because you don't want to add too much air to the equation. There we go. And now we just stir. And the goal is just to dissolve it, basically. And the amount we're making, I would say it's enough for four to six people, depending on the size of the bowls you use. I'm gonna use quite big bowls, because I love it. So it might just be enough for three. What we shouldn't forget is to remove the vanilla pot. I think we managed to dissolve everything now. So we need to portion it. And I'll just show you the bowl that I'll use for, for the channel. Obviously I managed to spill. I look a bit stupid, but what I'm trying to do is to kill the bubbles. I 
which are more or less managed. You can also get a, a burner and just go very quickly or the bubbles will burst. Like that, you get a clean, nice surface. Now, these need to cool for about two hours in the fridge. And in the meantime, we'll uh, finish off the balsamic honey sauce. And this is probably the easiest thing of the whole recipe. Add the vinegar to the honey. And then just mix it. There it is, all the salt. Now, just for ease of use, I'm going to pour this into one of these bottles. And that's it. Now, all we have to have is patience. About two hours for the panna cotta to set, and then we can serve this up and give it a try. We'll see you in a bit. As you can see, it's not soft anymore. It's been two hours and it's ready. So we're just gonna finish it off and then we're gonna give it a try. But before we do that, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about the episode. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, it takes you one second, but it's so valuable to me to get my content out there in the YouTube universe. So please hit the like button. But now let's finish this off. We have a wonderful honey and balsamic vinegar. I really like this. That's why I use enough of it. And then we have the olive oil. Like so. I mean, all of this is optional, but I enjoy all three of them. The last thing we do, a little bit of fleur de sel. And that's ready for us now to dig in. Here we go. <laughs> this is, that's why I'm quiet, it's so good. The salt just add that little extra kick, and it goes really well with the olive oil. You have this slight hint of bitterness from the olive oil. The sweetness and sourness of the honey, balsamic vinegar mix. Mm. Gives this very rich dessert, kind of a freshness. A nice sweetness, not too sweet. And the hint of vanilla. I just love this dessert. And it might not be to everyone's taste, but this hint of bitterness from the olive oil, the saltiness, I just think it's wonderful. And again, not my idea. My friend Eddie, you're one smart guy when it comes to creating dishes. Mm. Give this a try if you're into panna cotta or if you're into sweet stuff in general. Mickey, I know you're not so sorry this episode is not for you. Should have told you at the beginning. But that's it guys for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you're not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe, check the bell icon. And if you have a question, leave it down in the comments. I always answer you. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.